Welcome to video T.4a, Composition of Transformations. All right, we got one definition. What is a composition? It's simply one transformation followed by another. All right, here's an example. Let's start with this uh, green triangle here. Let's just translate it to the right. And then after we translate it to the right, let's reflect that about this horizontal line. So we start, middle, end and there could be multiple different transformations going on. Okay, so here's example 1A. Reflect triangle ABC across line M, and after that, translate it along vector V. Okay, so uh, first we'll do the reflection. So for the reflection, don't forget, we start with our helper lines being perpendicular to the line of reflection. So what I taught you is just take a marking on your ruler and make it so that it's parallel and then kind of line up and we'll just keep going across. So here's a helper line. And then what you want to do is be parallel to that. So we can use the, the perpendicular, and, that one wasn't too good. We'll do it again. I think my ruler moved a little bit. All right, then we'll move it again. So now I'm just gonna try to be parallel. Parallel is the key. So by reviewing uh, compositions, we're secretly reviewing previous lessons as well. Okay, so then I measured the distance from A to the line, B to the line, and then C to the line with the ruler on your paper, and I got those distances. So you just wanna go that distance beyond. Okay, so we'll just start here using centimeters. Uh, I got 11 and 11. I'm going to call that A prime. For B, again, you use those numbers over there. Mine, of course, will be different. And then for C, you're using 2.3, and I'm using this one. All right, so I call that A prime, B prime, and C prime. And then again, you can use your ruler. I'm just trying to speed up the video a little bit. So that's A prime, B prime, C prime, just the reflection. Now, I want to do this translation. I've already measured this vector, again, from the center of the tail to the tip of the arrow, and I got 4.0 centimeters long. So now all I want to do is take this blue triangle and go in this direction, 4.0 centimeters long. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll use uh, red for my helper lines. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, use your ruler to line it up on that vector, and then slide the ruler such that it's parallel as best as possible. I deem that to be pretty parallel. And then just draw helper lines. And again, make sure your helper lines are at least that long. So once I've drawn the first one, then I'm just going to use that as my reference and hope that that was correct. And then for this one over here, just a little bit up. Okay, not perfect, but again, my tools aren't the best. All right, so then just measuring four centimeters across. Um, so I'll just mark it in black now. All right, so I guess I should measure this one. Uh, for me, it's that. Okay, so measuring, and that would now be a double prime. Let me measure that again, okay. Um, from this point over here, oops, C double prime, excuse me. From A, measuring out, A double prime. And from B, measuring out, B double prime. And then we can connect those dots. Again, you can use your ruler. I'm trying to speed things up. I can shade these in just so you can visually see. So what happened is I took this triangle 
reflected about this line, and then translated along that vector. So there you have it, the definition of a composition and how to perform a simple composition.